I just want to uh, take this time out to thank uh, Josh Healy for inviting me to come here and speak to y'all. Thank y'all for coming out. And what's up, Nisi? Hey. <laughs> and what I'm about to say may offend a lot of people okay. in the media, Good. but I got to keep it real. Sure. Now, I ain't no Oscar personally, but granted, he ain't deserved this. That bar cop Mercy Lee had murdered this man on purpose. That was somebody's son. He was a son with a daughter. Face down, one round into his back. That man slaughtered. They say it's involuntary. So that was his charge, given convicted for two years, no less. He leaves prison, ain't that some bullshit? I guess life ain't fair. White man be killing niggas since the day we got here. It ain't start with Sean Bell, and it won't stop with Oscar. Harass me, they beat my family members up. They killed my partner. Pops had came home, teeth gone, his mouth leaking. Eyes swollen, them cops kicked his ass for no reason. Off from a traffic stop over there in Point Richmond. Far from home, a black man, two white cops, ain't no witness. Walked up to his car with that usual procedure. License, ID, insurance, keep your hands right to see him. My pops a convicted felon. Read his name, they rushed back. Billy Club to drop the window, we shattered his face. Cracked, they pulling him out the car. They maced him and beat him off, face kissing the concrete. His blood starting to pour, this violence against my people. I ask you. What is all of this shit for? Bounced out, they caught my cousin at the mom's and pop store. Out there in North Richmond, us and them means war. I want to catch one slipping so I can give him the score. My cousin ain't did nothing. No drugs, no weapon. A fucking Sprite and Dorito chips. Rush them and hem them up. They slammed them and started stomping. They did the same thing to my brother like it was nothing. My cousin called, told me the news. My heart jumping. Said the rollers came right at the block, so we started running. Your brother Trump was the only one caught by 12 of them. Beat up my oldest brother, and I couldn't do nothing. Same thing to my cousin people. They chased him and then beat him. Handcuffed him, he got asthma, laying there heavy breathing. His inhaler was in his pocket, but they wouldn't let him use it. So he died right there that night. We couldn't do shit. Now I'm tired of sitting back, illegal searches, we getting jack considered as gang members cause we poor and we black, live in the same hood, but most of us related, cause I wear a hat, white tee, and hoodie, I'm gang affiliated, well I guess that makes two, because y'all all wear blue, you harm me and mine, so fuck you too. My words are less threatening than actions of police. And I don't trust none of them. Talk shit and I ran from them. I don't care to be friend of them. Fuck them, I can't stand them. After Oscar Grant's death, I guess karma came around. Lavelle Mixon starts speaking. He was knocking shit down. No brains, no critical. Count of three or four police died. For them with tragic offers, for others, a sense of pride. I remember a couple times. I had runners with police. I made one wrong move. They draw was like freeze. Guns is pointed at me. My hands reaching the sky. I'm at home, a black man. Two white cops, I'm about to die. But grace of God, they didn't shoot. And I'm here right now. But there's so many open with bullets of face pinned to the ground. So many who choose fight. And the rest of y'all choose flee. There's very few who die standing. So many upon their knees. I don't want to have his head in my heart. So Lord, please. Forgive them, Father God, and please forgive me, because I swear, if I'm giving a chance, and it's going down. All that yes, sir, and bowing down stops now. I ain't looking for no problem, but I will protect mine. Young soldier, I'm a rebel till my heart be flatlined. I ain't talking breaking laws, though. I'm talking about protect. Give a fuck about your badge, bitch. It's all about respect. Thinking they life safe because they wearing that little vest, but they ain't really worth nothing if they ain't aiming at your chest hair shot. Straight from the heart is where I'm speaking. How could I be a man and withstand police beatings? They lynched us back then and they slammed us right now. You talking that nonviolent, but you still get beat down. Why can't you understand that I'm just a young man? Speaking for me and those who scared to take a stand. You telling me calm down because my word's controversial. But they acquitted all charges when these motherfuckers murdered me. Seem like y'all really slaves to this unjust system. I'd rather be a runaway than to stay and be a victim. Slavery's no longer mm. physical, it's mental. No over-exaggeration. Y'all talking this freedom talk, but scared to leave the plantation. 
And I don't see what's controversial about life preservation. And don't think you beat the system with just an education. Because although you book smart, you still lack a common sense. This land of free speech, so why I can't say this shit? Basically what you said is when they come and take my life, I should lay down and let them when I'm putting up a fight. Hell no. I ain't rocking like that. But either way, they don't have to carry me. That's why next year, 27th of February, I'll be 21, so y'all better get ready. I'm going to push a hard line by any means necessary. Peace.